it's Addie, and today we are watching Edge of Tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. I don't know a lot about this movie. It won our latest sci-fi action poll over on Patreon, but really all I know is that it has Emily Blunt in it, it has Tom Cruise in it, so this cast sounds like it's gonna be a good time. And I find that the sci-fi action movies that I watch for the channel end up being some of my favorite movies that I end up watching. So I am excited about this one. Sometimes sci-fi movies can be a little scary. So I don't know if on that scale of how creepy or scary this is going to be, but it looks like it has a great cast. Hopefully we're in for a fun time today. So let's dive in. This is Edge of Tomorrow. I thought Max was glitching for a second, but it's just the movie. Since they landed outside Hamburg five years ago, they have steadily advanced across Europe. This is an alien invasion in a global war. With a new jacket technology and limited amount of training, we've been able to create super soldiers. Look at Reed Vertasky, the Angel of Verdun. They're calling her the Angel of Verdun. The only thing missing is you. Technology. She was able to kill hundreds of mimics on only your first day. We're going to defeat them. Operation Downfall is going to be the largest mechanized invasion Operation in the history of Downfall. mankind. We will be victorious. Let's see if this works, but it's only the beginning of the movie, so we'll see. A lot of good soldiers are going to die tomorrow, Major. People tend to look for someone to blame, someone like me. Ideally, I'd prefer a different scenario. I want you to sell the invasion. Okay. You ship out to the coast in one hour. The front? France! I do, I do this to avoid doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much as dangerous as it gets. While it is an honor, General, I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. Can't stand the sight of blood. Not so much as a paper cut. <laughs> I don't think he's amused at all. You don't even have the authority. I have spoken to your CO. You are now under my command. Do a good job, Major. Good luck. You are dismissed. Does he want him to die? I just inspired millions of people to join your army. How hard do you think it would be for me to convince people to blame you? Are you blackmailing me, Major? I think so. I would prefer not to be filming acts of heroism and valor on that beach tomorrow. You won't be. I feel, excuse me, General, I... Whew. Smooth. Smooth. Right. Arrest this man. Oh. What? Help you, sir. Where the hell am I, Sergeant? Forward operating base Heathrow. My name is Major William Cage. I'm an American officer. Officer? How the hell did you end up in processing? Well, he made some people mad. We're fixing to invade France. This whole FOB's on lockdown. No calls. Name is Farrell. That's right. Master Sergeant Farrell. Master Sergeant Farrell, you're an American. No, sir. I'm from Kentucky. Has to be where I can make a phone call. I'll get you sorted out, sir. Thank you. Where are you from in Kentucky, Sarge? A little town called Science Hill. Heard of it? I have now. After you. You're not taking me to the phone, are you, Sarge? No, I'm not. It says here you're a deserter. It says here you were caught impersonating an officer. You'd likely try to make an outside call, even compromise security of this operation. Anything to get out of combat duty tomorrow. Oh, yeah, he made. The wrong guy mad. He blackmailed the wrong person. Squad, this here is Private Cage. Isn't that an officer's uniform? Crack of my ass. Private mm -hmm. Camel, what is my view of gambling in the barracks? Just like it, Sergeant Farrell. Are they eating the cards? Private Cage is a deserter. I'm mm -hmm. making you all personally they responsible for his deliverance. What? Tomorrow morning, you will be baptized. Going again. PT, 10 minutes. 
Not even, oh, oh, I, I figured you were at least wearing underwear. Okay, okay, gotta do what you gotta do. I've never been in one of these. Yeah, well, I've never been with two girls at the same time before. You can bet when that day comes, I'll make a horror cap. Okay. I could hurt somebody. <laughs> Not with the safety on you, one. Where is the safety? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't call her that. If we lose today, we won't get the fight enough. It's all right to be scared. Remember, there's no courage without fear. I think there's something wrong with your suit. There's a dead guy in here. <laughs> yikes, yikes. I think he already knows that. How do I turn? They're not going to hear you. And you're about to drop. Oh, and you have no idea how to Stand use this. Stand to deploy. Activate drop line. Oh, they're all about to die. Oh gosh. He doesn't even know how to drop. There we go, he got a drop. Oh duh, there's a release right there. That's how you drop. Come on, Addy. Oh, oh. Call that blackmail just to end up here anyway. Yeah, I honestly don't see you surviving this. Unless you're just very lucky. Oh. Oh, we are gonna see an alien. Oh, it's not cute either. She's supposed to be the best of the best. She's back up. Good. Did that kill her? Oh, yeah, she was dead. Have it changed. You're going the wrong way. They don't supposed to know where he's coming. It's a slaughterhouse. But they do. They did. My safety. My safety. Can someone someone show him like the basic basics? Here they come. Mean as hell and thick as grass. Oh no. Oh. oh no, they're already here. They move so quickly. Like before you even have time to attack, they've already killed you. Okay, you're doing something. Good. Is it Did you kill one? That's only one though. There are a lot more of them. Yeah, like what are there? Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. You're so ugly. Oh, ew! ew. Ah. Ah. On your feet, maggot! Get in line before I bust your hole in my boot heel, maggot! All of this Hold up there, son. Can I help you, sir? That was an awful way to die. Is this a Groundhog Day situation? I'll get you sorted out, sir. Good news is already been through you, all of this. Hope in the form of glorious combat. The only, only true heroes, heroes are forged. Mm -hmm. He knew what you were gonna say. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. No, I'm not. He's really not. <laughs> the fiery crucible in which the only true heroes are forged. What would cause this, though? This here is Private Cage. Is he gonna figure out how the aliens knew they were coming? I don't know. Crack of my ass. Oh, look, we found the cards. Woman's my view of gambling in the barracks. Now we're gonna eat the cards. Oh, for Christ's sake, Kim. I'll go be free, man. All right, man, let's get the show on the road. I gotta sit on it. Maybe by the end of this, he'll really know how to use his suit. <laughs> I think what the hell's wrong with you, man? Oh. I've already, already figured a few before? things out. I'm not sure. Good. Hey, watch your back out there, sir. <laughs> no, no one, one else will. Remember, <laughs> hey! Yeah, so they're still attacked. So is everything going to be the exact same? <laughs> still not wearing pants. Hit. 
Is there a, a, a lot of blood? I have a hole in your chest. Oh. Yeah, I bet really? there's a lot of blood. Did you just take my... My battery? Battery? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think she did. Uh, Holy oh. fuck! Ah! Oh, and we're gonna just start right on over. Can I help you, My name son? is Major Bill Cage. The order in your left pocket says I'm a deserter. Your name is Master Sergeant Farrell from Science Hill, Kentucky. You have to listen to me. They know we're coming. They're waiting for us. Yeah. I have been there. Okay, I'm fine. He's J Squad. Right, yes, this is J Squad. Yes. Yeah. Not that I should know that. Any of you met me before? I don't know you. Exactly. Yes. Kimmel, Kimmel. You fight balls out, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. But there's a card game under the bed. Thanks a lot, asshole. Yeah. Uh, Kimmel's working now on you're gonna eat the cards. Uh, spades, no, clubs. And you're gonna make me eat those cards. Mm -hmm. Am I right? And you have to listen to me. I'm not gonna believe you. No. One minute. <laughs> they very much did not believe you. The ship is about to explode! Yep. How many times is he gonna have to go through this? Wait, have you always had the teddy bear? The first time I've noticed. Oh, typically, I just noticed that you're not wearing pants. This is what, the fourth time? You need to get us off this beach. And we have to go. Hey. This drop ship is about to explode. Hey, you're getting pretty good at this. It's Come not on. crazy. Find me when you wake up. Come find me when you wake up. Is she also going through this? On your feet, Or she knows something about this? The one place where all men truly sh share the <laughs> This here is Private Cage. Cage. You must be J Squad. Nice to meet you. Isn't For the first time. Uniform? These sure ain't right officers. Now. Cufflinks. If he tries to run, oh, no, no, free no, no. to I'm, I'm not going to run from you guys. Thank you, Sergeant Farrell. What next, a little, uh, PT? PT, 10 minutes. How did he know that? Knock off the ground there. Grab this, Sarge. Hold up. Private drop and give me. 50, Sarge. That's right. Like two. Drop and give me 50. Does he have to roll under it? Yeah, there we go. Did he miscalculate? The hell were you the thinking? Plan? There's hope for you, Private. Let's try this again! Okay, don't get run over this time. Huh? Oh my gosh, that was so close! But you made it! Excuse me. Sergeant Potaski. Oh, Sergeant Potaski? Do I don't think you're supposed to cross! Uh oh. She would recognize him, right? If she's also going through this? You said to find you when I wake up. Come with me. Now, first time you died, what happened? You killed a mimic? Yes. Describe it. Bigger. Bluish. Mm -hmm. And you got Very covered scary. in its blood. Mm -hmm. They know we're coming on the beach tomorrow. Please just explain to me what the hell is happening. What happened to you happened to me. How do I get rid of this? First, I need your help. With what exactly? Winning the war. Okay. How did she break out of it, though? Who's this? He's me, before Verdun. When did he die? Where? On the beach, tomorrow. How many fingers am I holding up behind my back? How should I know that? This is the first time we've had this conversation. You should try this on him. Oh my gosh, what? Has he had any visions yet? Visions of what? Okay, so there's still time. I'm Dr. Carter, particle physics, advanced microbiology. You have to think of this as a single organism. The alphas, like the one that you killed, mm -hmm. are much more rare. Yeah, they're like one in 6.18 million. Wow, very rare. And this is the Omega. And the Omega has the ability to control time. Whenever an alpha is killed, the Omega starts the day over again. It, it, it knows exactly what we're going to do before we're going to do it. And an enemy that knows right. the future can't it lose. That's but if that's true, how did you win ever done? We were allowed to win. Operation Downfall isn't our end game. It's the enemy's. Unless you change the outcome. Ooh, a lot uh, relies on you right now. You've seized control of the Omega's ability to reset the day. You control the power now. So what changes? How do I control it? 
You have to die. Every day. Until the Omega is destroyed. Oh, okay. How fun! He wakes up knowing every day, knowing that he's gonna die. That's a lot. I know the general. I went to you see the know. general cage. Psych ward. Dissection, mm. remember? Have you seen anything strange? Visions, have you seen any visions like that? The Omega senses when it's losing control of it. And you had these visions? Yes. The visions showed me it was at Verdun. I could see it. Lost the power before I could get to it. You're gonna get me there. And I'm gonna mm. kill it. I'm not even trained for combat. Well, might as well start now. But they're gonna have to have that same conversation every day. Because she's not going to remember this. Come on. Oh. oh. I think I broke something. What? Well, you have to die anyway, so... My back. Oh. You get injured on the field, you better make sure you die. I was bleeding out, just not fast enough. I woke up in a field hospital with three pints of someone else's blood and I was out. Mm, that's how she lost it. I think we better start over, don't you? What? Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh! Well, I guess when- Oh my gosh. I guess when he has to die, it doesn't matter how. My name is Bill Cage. I- We met on the beach. We meet on the beach tomorrow. I have what you had. Yeah, we have to do this every single day. <sighs> She's probably gonna have to kill him again. multiple times, too. <laughs> I just, oh, hold on, hold on, listen. Yeah, she does have to kill him multiple times. Okay, do it. So maybe there's some way I can transfer it to you. I've tried everything. All the options. Oh, you mean sex? No. Yeah, tried it. Oh, okay, I'm glad, I'm glad. times? All right. Okay, I'm glad she's tried it and I'm glad it doesn't work. I think I'm okay. Oh. Times does she have to kill him? You okay, Cage? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> he really doesn't want her to kill no, him. I, I can still feel my touch. And you're dead. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Having a vision. Ooh. Who's this guy? He's me. Get a vision before we're done. done. I'm Bill Cage, your Dr. Carter. We've had this conversation before. You have two fingers behind your back. Mm -hmm. I've had the visions. I've seen the Omega. There's a dam. It's in the mountains. I saw German writing. Training is over. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, you need to figure out a way to get us off that beach. Where are we going? Yeah. Which way? Focus. Which way? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Oh. And we're dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm stepping the ducking. Just for the record. Okay. Well, one of these days we have to get there. You're not being specific. Yeah. You, oh, okay. you need to be specific, but, otherwise I'm dead. Just, uh. <laughs> this seems impossible. Oh, did he make it off? Make it out of there? It's about time we showed those things what we're made of. What do they want with us anyway? Minerals. Minerals? Think about what it. What difference does it make? They're here. I've been over there. As a matter of fact, I'm usually long dead by now. Coward. Power's gone. You're getting better at this. I found the Omega. I found it. it has nice. to be here. Turn her down, Germany. Yeah, that looks it's like gotta it. be it. It fits the description perfect. We can't get off that beach. Something has to work. At some point. You can do this. You keep coming here every day and I'll train you. You already have. But you're a fighter now. That has to help us a little bit. now we'll need a vehicle to get further inland the problem is the ambush waiting for us down there they kill us before we find a working car okay two cars we haven't tried yet the minivan yeah 
the green SUV. Okay. Oh, so they've made it this far before. Don't forget to disconnect the caravan before you take off. You are going to be in a hurry. You don't want any dead weight. Nice. Oh, it is gonna work. But don't forget to unhook it. She forgot to unhook it. It's gonna kill them this time. I forgot to unhook the trailer. Yep. We know this. Oh! Yeah, that's gonna kill us this time. But maybe the mimic will just unhook the trailer for them. Oh no, it is not alive. Hey, and it's unhooked. Finally. This is. This looks like it's the farthest we've been. You don't so talk far. much. It's usually around Lyon. You tell me about the time you went there with your family. Your brother got lost. Oh, we have made it this far before. You tell me your middle name, Peyton. That's not my middle name. Well, maybe I made it all up just to keep you quiet. If you knew what was good for you, you wouldn't want to get to know me either. What about Hendrix, you get to know him. Is he why you won't talk to me? Don't ever mention his name again. Okay. Noted. He's Lovely. dead. And I watched him die 300 times. And I remember oh, remember everything. So I don't need to talk about it. Oh, that's rough. So. It's just war. Ooh, that's not great. We have to find the keys. Just siphon the gas. Oh, why drive when we can fly? Will this thing fly? What is it? It's nothing. I'm fine. No, it's Freedom. probably not nothing. Let me see. Oh. 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 We have to find the keys to the helicopter. Might be better off just going back to the farmhouse, seeing what we could salvage. Come back here in the morning. And curl up by the fire and open a bottle of wine. <laughs> not a bad evening. I think we should just reset. <gasps> Whoa! I'll look around for the keys. That's productive. Ten minutes, and then I'm killing you. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Thanks for the warning. There's a shirt over there. Should be your size. How many times have we been here? How many times? How many times? Where are the keys? Oh, he knows. <clears throat> you can fly it, can't you? No. Well, yes. What are we still doing here? You're wasting time. Rita, if you start that engine, you die. Oh. This is as far as you ever make it. Oh, and he doesn't want you to die. There's a mimic buried 20 yards away. And it attacks when you start the engine. Just go back to the farmhouse. There's a cellar, there's food. You'll be He's safe. About to start I'm it. a soldier. And if I go on and kill the Omega, you're dead. Why does it matter what happens to me? He loves you at this point. I wish. I didn't know you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you just went straight through that wall. I wonder if he's had to, um, Oh gosh. I wonder if he's had to off himself any of these times to save her, to start over. Oh, she's not dead yet. My middle name is Rose. Hmm. Gosh, I would be so sick of this. Yes? Who said you could talk to me? We've talked to each other a lot before now. Sorry to disturb you, Sergeant. Oh, is he just not? Oh, he's not gonna get her involved because he doesn't want her to die. Where's your helmet? Doesn't need it. Better to wear one. Have you been drinking? I need three more clips of 556, five, eight grenades, and an extra battery. Just give the man what he wants. Get him. I can't even imagine what he feels. He's had to watch her die so many times. Is it 
possible that the visions could have been fake to get him here to kill him? Oh, I'm oh, 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 scared for you, buddy. Finish it. Oh, oh, mother of pearl. No, that's a big one. That's one of the ones he killed at the very beginning, right? Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, is this gonna be how you die? It isn't there. They knew yeah. we were coming. They ambushed us. The visions were a trap. So we have no idea where it is. Could have killed me, but it didn't. It's after my blood. They want their power back. And they're gonna get it one way or another, unless we find the Omega. It's a transponder. You stick it into the Alpha and it taps into the wavelength connecting it to the Omega. That's the idea anyway. So all we need to do is go to Whitehall. You'd be arrested at 10 feet from the front door. The transponder requires a live Alpha to make it work. We don't need one. We got the next best thing. Just keep your head down. Stay quiet. Don't look over. Okay. Oh, so we've done this several times. Oh. I've asked not to be disturbed. This had better be critical. Fate of mankind? Critical enough? Sit down, General. Stay away from the desk. When you left this office today, I never imagined you'd be back, let alone with my most decorated soldier. Well, <laughs> here we are. Tell him you call back. Tell who? Major General Beaumont calling from Halifax. His plane's just been delayed. Thank you, Bones. I'll call you back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's invasion is a slaughter. I'm dead within five minutes of landing on that beach, along with every other soldier you are sending. How do I know this? Before I died, I killed a mimic, only this one was different. Now I live the same day over and over again. Until the general's dinner's just been canceled. The call came in just now. Your dinner was canceled. You forgot the fuel dump. I hope he believes him after all of this. I mean, he knows so much. Let me what just, do do? please, don't shoot him again. Okay? Again? No. Just, the only way to win this war is by finding this power source of the Mimic Horde. And the only means of finding it is in that safe right there. Dr. Carter told me this device requires a live Mimic to work. What use is it to you? You're not mentally equipped to fight this thing, and you never will be. Oh, he's actually going to give it over? No tricks? What do we do now? I don't know. We've ever gotten this far. <laughs> okay, wow, we actually- I kept waiting for the general to shoot one of them. But... Okay. No! No! Don't go Uh-oh. Well, I spoke too soon. Stick it in your leg! Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt! That's gonna be so painful! Oh, 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 this sucks. This- Oh, your eyes, buddy. Oh, wow. Cage, what so it's the Louvre. Where, where, where? I'm inside now. Yeah, we can see it. Somebody's gonna block them. No, we're good. Oh, God. We're just trying to save the world, people. we know where it is now so the next time we wake up unless it's over because he survived oh the eyes you'll be fine you just needed blood you don't um, know what you've just done river tersky all this she changes alive. everything river tersky sorry sorry isn't she dead or sorry that she can't talk to you <laughs> I thought this is a new day, and I thought we were really screwed. Up. I was out of those things in three minutes flat, Cage. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, Cage. No, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm out. I'm out. They gave me yeah. blood. Oh, and she almost just truly killed him. We have to kill the Omega before the invasion starts. We need a dropship to get to Paris sometime. We need more soldiers, too. Cage! Guys, we've been looking everywhere for you! Now, it's gonna sound ridiculous at first, but the longer I talk, the more rational it's going to appear. And then he tells me my second-grade teacher was called <laughs> Polio. He knows everything about you. 
Everything. Cage says the enemy knows us too. They're waiting for us on the beach. And we all die. We just met you. Come on, why would we follow him into combat? Though. I don't expect you to follow me. I expect uh, you to follow her. Uh, yeah! This is Rita Vitaski. Otherwise known as... Yeah, yeah. The Angel of Verdun. Where's j Squad? Well, we're on our own mission. You heard what Cage said. Do not kill an alpha. So what am I supposed to do if one of those alphas is about to kill me? Take a hit for the team. We're gonna need eyes up here. I'm going in, Cage. He wants to save you. I've got one claymore. Ford, you're out. Manners is we finish this. So what are we gonna do? Just walk up to the front door, is that it? If we stay here, we die. Yeah? We'll never get through. We could. And that, we could steer it with the power levers. Skinner, clear a path. Here's the power on. I'm not gonna be any good in there, mate. Let me buy some time. Oh, buddy. Power's on. This is gonna work. Don't wait for us! Get it! Grip, come on! We're good We're to go. Where are they? Where's us? Skinner and Grip? They're not coming. I'll see you in the next life. Aww. <laughs> oh, they're coming. Gosh, they move so fast. time for anything else. I hope we survive, but it doesn't look like we will. Does that mean 
it's still alive? Welcome to London, Major. And Corporal Montgomery will be able to General Brigham's press office. A large surge of energy was detected in Paris. We do not know exactly what this signifies. It appears to be a total collapse of the enemy's capacity to fight. So please tell me that Rita's... Rita would be alive again, right? There she is, very much alive. What do you want? <laughs> ah! Wait, that's a really satisfying ending. I truly didn't expect to have a happy ending. <laughs> Oh, seeing how many times they died, seeing how at the end, like you don't think that it can be reset again. Everything ended up okay. And the the mimic, the Omega was destroyed. And I assume they live happily ever after. I, I really like this movie. It's essentially Groundhog Day with more sci-fi action involved. But this is a lot of fun. I really like... Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise in a movie together. I I don't know. I never like expected that pair to get, I I don't know. I don't know. I just never expected them to be in a movie, but um this movie that came out over 10 years ago, I just have been missing out on it apparently. Yeah, this was really fun. I mean, the groundhog day concept of just being in a time loop. That's just a fun concept to play with. I'm curious. I need to google it or you guys can let me know too how many days of course, it's not going to show all of the days and a lot of them are just alluded to or like barely referenced, but I'm curious how many days it at least showed in this movie because, oh, they died so many times. She had to kill him so many times. Um, I mean, it gave enough time for him to become a great fighter. It gave them enough time to like really get to know each other and finally figure out a way to kill the Omega. This was fun. This was a really fun concept, and I really enjoyed this movie today. Well, this was Edge of Tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.